Hey there, it's me Red Knight and welcome back to William's Farm. He's at level 23 and in the last video we basically looked at reorganizing everything, getting everything all set up. We started producing some feed as well and we started filling a crate for a boat. Now since then we've not been able to come back to the farm as such. We've not really progressed the game at all, but that's what we're going to do now in this video. Now, Tom's just released a balloon, and that's the second balloon he's released for me. And I've actually claimed both rewards, but I'm not going to pay for his services. I'm going to put him back to sleep, because I don't really need him at the moment. Now, my feed is now ready over the back, which is good, so I will collect that and start feeding some of my animals, which is nice as well. Okay, I don't have all of the feed made yet. Okay, I only made some of it uh, in the last video, but we've got enough there at the moment to keep us going. Once I've actually collected the crops again, I can then see what crops I have and then maybe start producing some more feed. Now, the great thing about me actually separating my farmland like I did, I can now start focusing on separating the plots and producing the crops I want within each plot. Now that they've all grown, I've got an easier way of doing this. So first of all, I want to go with the 8 down there, and I get the wheat on the go there as well. Okay, we need some more sugar cane, so I'm going to start the sugar cane off in this section there. We can collect these other resources that are done there, and have a look and see what else needs to be made. So we need some of the soya beans, we'll take that one as well. Let's look at the slow growing crops. Okay, we definitely need some of the indigo, we get that one there. And we collect the pumpkins as well. Right, now, from producing those actual goods there, you'll see that I've done most of the ones I wanted. There's a few there that I can still add to that as well, so I'm going to start with the cotton there as well, because that's kind of cool. I see a toolbox, I think, there, staff flashing behind. Let's go get that one as well. There we go, a shovel, which is good as well. Right, now Indigo is going to be ready in an hour and 59 minutes. It's not really using up all of the space there, so I'm going to grow a few more pumpkins as well. And that's those two plots there, three plots there, that are basically closed off for the moment. Right, we collect the coins from those ones from my little experiment earlier, and we'll start producing more feed now. So, what are we going to need? Well, we're going to need some more pig feed, of course, so we get a couple of one of those on the go. We're going to need some chicken feed, but we can't do that yet. We're going to need some cow feed. Now, I do actually have 16 diamonds, and the feed mill itself is a very, very integral part of the game. And it's one of those that I think should be upgraded. So, what I'm going to do is to think about do I need to use my diamonds to upgrade this one or not? Now, mastery wise, to get the first star, which is 5% faster, is going to be in 120 hours. Now, if I can produce more goods when I'm not in the game, then that will help towards that. So I need to think about whether to use the diamonds there or not. Okay, let's go collect those goods from the machines that have been made as well. There's not so many, which is not a problem because we've not opened up all of the machines just yet. Now, diamond-wise, okay, I've got the option of actually expanding more of the production machines. So, like the sugar down here, we've got no sugar at the moment because we need to grow it. So, once that's grown, we can then start producing a lot more of the sugar-based products. If we look down here, okay, we've got three products we can produce again, and again, we can upgrade that with diamonds as well. But of the two machines, if I were to upgrade either the sugar or the barbecue, I'd probably go with the sugar mill first because upgrading that will allow me to get a lot more sugar that I can use within the game. For the barbecue grill, okay, it's very nice. I find that the pancakes are quite rewarding, but you need the sugar to be able to produce the pancakes. The eggs and bacon's good, but the turnaround time does take a long time. So unless you're actually doing that overnight, it's not really a fast producing item. The hamburgers again, okay, it takes a long time to make and it takes a long time to produce the goods. So it's a lower priority for upgrading. Now the popcorn pot is a nice one to upgrade, okay. I could get more than the two popcorns made, okay. The turnaround time at the moment is a little bit on the slow side until I can actually get the mastery there. But only another 23 hours to go before the first star comes up anyway. And that's only the six. If I did do the feed mill, which is nine, and I did do the popcorn, which is six, that would use most of my diamonds, but it would give me two slots in total. So one on each machine. Now, sewing machine is not so critical at the moment. Okay, I can start using this, but I need to produce goods as well. 
the loom is a very very nice one to upgrade as well so I could focus on that if I wanted now that will give me the products I need but again the turnaround time on many of the basics there are kind of long so service wise it's nice to actually have a few more production slots there because I can leave it and come back later but again what is the bigger priority so I need to start thinking about this a little bit more next machine down here is the pie oven again I could use my diamonds on that if I wanted to I could go with the six options and I could get a lot of machines done maybe three machines whereas if I choose the feed mill it's actually going to reduce the number of actual machines I can upgrade now maybe I've got plenty there there's four being made okay each one of those gives me three feeds anyway which is not too bad so technically speaking I've got plenty of slots there oh we lost a connection oh dear let's try that one again so rebooting <coughs> oh no my Wi-Fi must have cut out or is there something coming within the game so connecting 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 no don't be gone please come back oh my god show that's going to mean one of two things that the game connection dropped a little bit earlier resulting in me losing all of the saved data or uh, it means that it's just dropped out now uh, which means I've not really lost anything because I haven't really done much so we we'll have to wait and see now at the moment it's still connecting so it could be that my Wi-Fi is not working or it could mean that uh, something else has happened so I wonder right let's go check the Wi-Fi let's go see what's happened so headphones going down now maybe it will boot up in the meantime but let me check my connection back in a second <laughs> Right, as you saw then, okay, it said that it couldn't connect, so I went into the other room and I checked my Wi-Fi. Uh, the Wi-Fi was working, uh, the door had blown shut because it's rather windy here and I've got all the windows open uh, because it's really hot and I don't like using air conditioning, so I keep my windows open to circulate the air and it's much better. Okay, well, let's see what happened. Did we lose anything? Okay, do we have to start anything again? Okay, basically, no. Show, uh, most of my crops are still growing. Okay, nothing has been removed. Okay, feed mill still going. Okay, so good, we're safe on that side. So let's come back. Right, now, uh, the other machine I got down there is the bakery. I find the bakery a very, very useful machine. So I'm umming and ahhing about whether to upgrade the bakery uh, and thinking about the feed mill as well. Now as I said with the feed mill as an example, you're limited by the number of machines you can actually do. Also as well, the feed mill produces three for every one that you're making. So maybe the other production machines are more important. Right, now, choices, choices, choices. What I'm actually going to do, I think, is go with the popcorn pod. I'm going to upgrade that one, which is six diamonds, so we'll take that one now. The double tap is enabled, thus uh, resulting in me having to press the button twice. Now, I can keep going if I wanted to. i got nine diamonds. We're going to bring down some of these popcorn. I'm bringing down the regular one. Okay, I can do the butter popcorn, but it takes an hour. So it's better to produce the slower, or oh, sorry, the faster producing items while you're playing the game. And then the longer production items when you're out of the game because that way you can turn around a lot more in the time that you're actually within the game. Okay, if you're going to be logging off soon and you're just stopping in and checking out, then maybe producing the longer serving ones is better, but the choice is yours. Right now, next choice, do I go with the sugar? Do I go with the barbecue? I've done the popcorn, do I go with the loom? 
gloom is very nice but again I'm not producing all of the goods quite yet so I'll leave that one uh, I'm actually going to go with the bakery so I'm actually going to add another slot to this one the bakery for me is a very useful machine actually no before I do the bakery there is one other that's just as important and that's the actual dairy so I'd forgotten about that one. Oh my god now the dairy is a critical Okay, it's a machine that produces a lot of goods that you need within the game for a variety of different things. Now, is it more important than the bakery, I wonder? Well, you're limited on what you can do with the bakery and vice versa, but both are equally important, I think. Sure, the choice is, which one do I do? Now, I've got three slots down there on the bakery. Now, for me, I think my preference is going to be the bakery this time. Number one, because I can produce the bread, okay, which is a good seller. And I don't mind selling bread off, and it turns around very fast, and it would allow me to use the wheat that I'm producing very quickly. So for lower level player, producing wheat to make the bread, then selling it off is more beneficial. Now, I could also go, if I wanted, with the cornbread, because that doesn't take too long to turn around. Same with the actual raspberry muffins. Now, the cookies are not really worth producing quickly to sell off. So you're looking at these three items. Whereas if I think of the dairy, okay, it's great for the resources, but I don't really want to be selling those items. They're more useful for in-game production or for boats, as an example. So my preference here is definitely going to be the bakery. As I said, I can use the wheat to produce the bread. The bread I can then sell, making money. And that's what I'm going to be doing. So we're going to be bringing that down. Now I've run out of wheat. OK, not a problem. OK, I can spend my diamonds, but who wants to spend diamonds on wheat? Unless, of course, you're starting the game out brand new. So I'm going to choose that one. Now you'll notice these two slots down here are empty as well. It's growing sugar cane. I've got another 20 minutes, so let's stick a couple more wheat in there. And in the meantime, we'll load up that machine now. I'm down to one diamond. Now, do I have the mine open? Not yet. I can't get that one until level 24, so we're working towards him. That will give me diamonds within the game later. I've got dead trees over here. I can chop down another one of those, which is brilliant. I've got my dog, which I can't feed yet. And I've got my cat as well, which I can't afford to buy. Okay, so I actually have the animal house, but no vouchers to purchase. So eight and three, that's what we're saving up for at the moment. And as you can see, we're a little bit behind on the vouchers. I think my son spent the vouchers on decoration. Right, now order-wise, at the moment I'm just going to bin the orders. Now, I'm not really interested in doing the orders because the current event is more beneficial for the actual boat itself. So if we look down here on the event board, you'll see that I've got 4 hours and 54 minutes left on the clock to get a lot of experience points. And fantastic. Now, I don't have to do every single crate, okay, I just have to do one or two crates every now and then, and that will give me the ability to gain experience points. Now, I've got a bit of an issue here, I can't do these blue sweaters, not in the neighborhood quite yet, so I can't request on them, and if I come down here to actually try to do them, I can't do that yet either. So, let's request those ones, we're going to ask for help, and then see what happens, you never know, someone in the community may come along. However, at the moment, nobody really knows about me unless they are connected on my Facebook, which is allowing them to see me. So they might see me if I come up on their bar. However, because this is on my main device, if I switch this game over to another device, I don't have those friends' connections. Right, now soya beans I can grow. So down here we're growing some soya beans. Now once those soya beans are done, I will probably start forgetting about the actual wheat that's down here and start producing more soya beans on this one as well. And that will allow me to actually grow more. Now earlier I planted these longer growing ones. Now what I should have done, if I think about it before actually planting those crops down, is gone over to check my boat first. Notice that I needed 43 of those, and I could have grown soya beans here and here and here. And then that would allow me to gain a lot of soya beans more quickly 
than I'm able to do at the moment. So before you do start planting, before you actually get too involved in just placing things down, have a look around. Now all I did was looked at my machines, I looked at my feed mill, and I looked at my animals, uh, but now that I'm looking at my boat, okay, I see that I should have looked here first. So make sure you do check that. Now this one down here is the raspberry muffin. Now I've not actually loaded up all of the machines yet, so I've only done a few of the machines with items. But you'll see down here, I, if I'd loaded up the cookies, then I would have big issues here trying to get the raspberry muffins done. Now the other day I planted some berry bushes. Now they should be ready now. So where did we place them? Well we placed our apple trees over there. We've got a couple there. We placed our cherry trees over in that corner and our berry bushes we placed down here. So this is our first harvest since we planted them. We're going to collect those now, which is a nice amount of experience points, which is not too bad, and we've gained bushes. Now I've got to wait another 18 hours. Holy smoke, that's a long time. Now once you actually start progressing the game a little bit more, you may want to start adding more berry bushes in, even if you're not using them. They are awesome decoration, and I strongly recommend placing the berry bushes down the side. Now the reason I do recommend adding them in as soon as you get them uh, is because you can actually use them for gaining experience points. The berries can be sold as well. You've got a few harvests, but the turnaround time is very, very long. And if you've got a lot of berry bushes there, you can place them down there. And then they are just sitting there until later, until you really need them. Okay, it's taking coins to actually purchase those items. but you're kind of like stacking for the future and you're getting this one area ready uh, allowing you to progress the game a little bit more comfortably later uh, especially when you are in need of those berry bushes and just placing them down here doesn't really take up a lot of room now you just notice there that when I place one down it didn't place now watch this as I do it again so I try to place it down and you'll see there that it's uh, kind of like read it off. This means you can't actually place it down. Now if I slide it along it's going to let me. But let's just say that I try to place it and it says no. Now the next time I bring it out it's actually a different angle. So that's a very very useful thing that the game does that it allows you to place something down, put it in the wrong place, reject it, bring it back out again and it's actually changed the angle for you. Thus allowing you to move items around, especially when you've got a very, very busy farm and there's no space to turn things around. So I've now got all of those raspberry bushes. They will be ready in 18 hours. Okay, I'll get a lot of fruit, but then when I start harvesting, okay, I'm going to kind of end up staggering these and collecting the resources. Right, now, I've got the berries. I need eggs, I need wheat, and I'm good on that side. Now, if I do use my wheat quickly, I've got a problem, because, again, I've used all of these slots. Uh, okay, it's fine. Okay, the soybeans will be ready in 60 minutes. Uh, not much of an issue, and I've still got plenty there. Now, if I do run out of resources, I can always go to the newspaper. I can look down there. There's nails there being sold. I'll grab those. Cream as well. Someone beat me to it. Oh, well, a little bit too slow. Uh, the resources there for chopping down gone as well, but there's an exclamation mark. XP opportunity. Let's go have a look. Now I can't do the jams. My level's too low on this one, so I'm really looking for the revives and toolboxes, of course. Now, as a lower level player, doing some of these actual boat tasks is going to be challenging, especially if you don't have the storage. But if you're looking through the newspaper and you're seeing someone who's got an exclamation mark there, go and click on it anyway. Have a look, because even if it's gone, you're still hoping to find a toolbox which will give you expansion materials or diamonds maybe or something else. You might even find a few goodies being sold. You may even find uh, revives as well. So it's always worthwhile checking out other restaurants. Uh, and Sorry, not restaurants, other farms. Oh, I'm thinking of lunch. It's lunchtime. I need to go to a restaurant soon. I'm hungry. Right, well, that truck can be done as well, which is more points. Next one I can't do because it's bacon. I've binned that one. Right, those will be ready in a couple of hours. We've got some milk down there, which is good as well. I can collect those ones. Feed will be done later. I can't do that. Eggs can't do, and we've got some more eggs to collect. Okay. Actually, I am really hungry, so my son should be home soon, and then we can go and enjoy a nice little lunch together. That's, of course, if he spends it with me and doesn't go with his friend. Yesterday was good fun. I enjoyed our time together. 
Right, okay, I think that's basically it. There's not much more I can do. There's a movie ticket down there to be watched, which I will do so. That will give me expansion materials or something else. The boat event is pretty good as well, so I've just got to find a few more boats, so we go and hunt for those in a minute. But let's load up the machines. Now, we can't do any of these yet because I haven't produced the goods. Now, I can't really do those ones, but the cotton fabric is ready. Now, I'm growing some more, so I haven't got to worry about that one. So now that I'm doing that, I can start using the cotton. Okay, it's only two slots a game, but not a problem. Down here, we've got no bacon as yet. Okay, we can do the carrot pies and we can do the pumpkin pies. Now, carrot pies are one hour, pumpkin pies are two hours. Uh, what should I choose? Well, I'm actually going to go with the carrot pies, I think, because I can turn two of those around in the time it takes to do one. And they're more useful for selling as well. That one we're waiting on the raspberry muffins. Okay, not a problem. We'll do that one later. And over here, we can't do anything without the main resources, so we can ignore that one. And the same thing over here. Oh, well. Visitor has arrived requesting eggs. I've got the eggs, but it's only five experience points and not so important for me. He's requesting crops. Now, crops I can do, but at the moment I'm going to ask him to wait because uh, crops, even though they do give me some good coinage, uh, XP is pretty low for the visitors. But I need the crops over here for this one as well. So we need to entice some people to come and help me. So what I'm going to do to encourage people to come and help me is to advertise some items. Now, there's not really much that I've got that I can sell here at the moment. Now, for me, the mine is not so important, nor is land expansion. So what I'm going to do is to sell these items. It will give me the coins, and it will also entice some people to come on over, maybe, and do my revive. Now, I can't guarantee that's going to work. They may just see the items, think, hey, brilliant, I'll take those, and they might just buy them. You could also give them the opportunity to follow me as well. They might just decide to do that, which is good. Uh, but it does depend on the individual. Now, if you are a friend of mine, why not go and check out my baby farm every now and then? Okay, you may find that, that uh, this farm is giving you some good resources. But either way, I'm going to advertise those. Okay, that creates another little point towards my achievements, which is over here. The more advertisements and the more things I do, the more opportunities for XP and diamonds as well. Right, one crop of soybeans is now ready. We can harvest those and we plant them back down again. And yay, okay, I'm getting closer and closer to being able to do at least one of those crates. More XP opportunities, I like it. Actually, what I might do is request help on that one as well. And let's see if we can get anybody. Right, now those resources have been bought, so I've got somebody here that's actually come from Korea, it looks like, and not sure of the other language, so maybe Thailand or somewhere else like that, but uh, they did my resources, they just took them and they ran. Now, they didn't even think about doing my boat. Now, I kind of don't like hit and runners. I, I do wish sometimes that people would actually go and check the farm. Uh, it would be very, very nice if they did actually come and support me and help me. Now, if I'm lucky, I will get someone who will just come along and basically do the support, but not yet. Right, let's collect those cherries and get that those trees growing a little bit more. We take those apples as well, which is very nice. Can't really use the resources just yet, but I can still sell off the items and make some money. Right, another one done there. We need some eggs down there now which is good let's go sell some of these now we don't need the cherries so we're going to sell some cherries that'll give me some more points and we're going to sell some of the apples as well there we go I like that the other resources I'm going to keep for the moment because I can use those to make feed okay let's go hunting let's see if I can help anybody out Right, well, Greg needs to be visited, so Greg is going to give me resources every day, of course, and there are some nice little items there. We go and take those, and thank you very much. Okay, so that's good. We check Greg's again for any expansion material. Oh, sorry, not expansion materials, toolboxes. If I can find a toolbox, I can claim expansion materials, and then that will help me towards making more money or leveling up. Right, do I see the sparkly toolbox? No, I do don't. So maybe it's somewhere, but I just don't notice it. So, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I'm not going to be lucky today. Let me just hover and see, because sometimes as I skim past, I miss it. 
Nope, nothing there. We'll try back down in this area. Nope, I don't see it. Greg, how could you not give me anything? Okay, let's go see. Has my boat been done? Nope, still not yet. Oh, dear. Might have to log in with my other farm and then help myself out. Right, well, let's go to my help bar. Right, Nudi Reda. Let's see if I can help Redo out first. Now, please do go help Redo, everybody. He's actually working on his boat achievement, and now is the perfect time. I can't actually do these melons, but uh, if you do have them, go and help him out. Uh, Philip as well is another person who's very strong and likes to progress the game a lot. Okay, him I can't do either. Now these are all relatively high level players. Now high level players I can't really help out so easily. So quite often if you're a low level player it's best to actually look down near the bottom of your help bar. And if you go down there you're more likely to find people that you can actually help out. Uh, you can see their bacon and sugar. Okay, I can do the sugar. I can give five sugar, which is experience points. I don't mind doing that one for the moment. And there we go. I've done one. Can't do the bacon yet. Apples are closed off. Toolbox locked. Okay, and there's no trees or bushes to be revived, which is a shame. And nothing really being sold. Right, so we've done that one. Next one, let's go and have a look. So Amy, okay, she's got no bolt, but the exclamation mark is up, which means revives. There we go, I'll take that one, that's nice. No toolboxes and nothing being sold. Right, next one, Petit Coeur. Let's have a little shifty. Right, boat in this case, I can't do those yet, so I'm going to ignore that one. We check around for help. And nothing there, and nothing I can buy there either. Right, Shane, let's have a look. Shane may have something for me. Boat is closed off, so that means revives. There we go at the back. I'll take those as well. Revives are always good. Okay, it's free experience points, and they will allow you to level up really, really quickly, especially if you hit a jackpot, i.e. a farm that has loads and loads and loads. Right, okay, another boat to be done there. I can't do those either. There's nothing for sale there. And we come back. Actually, what was it I needed? Did I need hats? Or was it sweaters? It was sweaters. Okay, if I can find sweaters, I can buy those and donate to myself. Okay. Still nobody coming to buy my items. Let's advertise again. we we'll sell those apples. That may bring somebody in to actually help me out. Right, Josh, we go to Josh. Let's have a look. Josh requires corn. Now, corn I can do, but I would need to grow it first. Now, I don't have a large storage for silo, but if I do go to help him out, uh, then maybe I will be lucky. But no, my luck, I would grow the resources. And then when I come back again later, they're gone. Now that boat I've missed, okay, there's no more exclamation mark there, so everything else is done, so let's just ignore that one. But first things first, let's check. Nope. Right, Sharon, 74. Now we're progressing up in the levels, so I'm probably going to find that there will be either be help tasks, which would be very useful for me, uh, or the occasional crate that is not too bad, but most of the crates now are going to be more challenging. That's one good thing about actually adding people that are of similar levels to yourself. If you add people that are of similar levels to yourself, then it's much easier to help them out. If you're adding people that are of a higher level, you'll see that there's a lot of things that you can't do. However, on the other side of the coin, basically them being higher and you being lower, they might be able to help you out more often than not. But again, it's a case-by-case -case situation. Right, okay, we've had two crates done, so thank you very much. I really appreciate this one. So, a big thank you to Cass. Okay, you are a superstar, and I appreciate that one a lot. Uh, in fact, what I'm going to do is to screenshot this, because it's very nice to actually get a helper. So, we're going to screenshot this one. There we go, photo goes down in the corner, and I will share that one on my Instagram. So. You are a star, and I appreciate it. Now, Granja del Alamo and Frazenda. So, uh, two items purchased and one done. So I just need the one more to do now, and the soybeans that I'm growing will help me with the other. Right, now we can get the other two down there, which is nice, and then they will be ready in about 40-odd 
or 45 minutes for each of those so we're going to come back in a couple of hours I hope and fingers crossed I won't miss this actual boat I've got 15 hours now the last boat I was aiming for I did miss but oh well uh, life priorities are more important right now we can feed these ones as well which is good we can feed the chickens as well which is nice as well and there's a few more eggs to be collected which is fantastic I like that cows we can't do yet pigs we can't do yet either boards done we've done a few orders nothing we can chop down we'll leave those right I'm happy I think it's time for me to watch the movie see if I get any more resources but I will see you next time for Williams farm so take everybody make sure you hit the subscription button make sure you hit that bell notification as well do hit the like button as well and comment below let me know your thoughts or questions that you would like me to answer for this level farm remember this is a level 23 so I can give you some tips and suggestions as we progress the game but either way see you next time bye bye